okay be no black folks the address is right up here and everything and then looked at what I caught in a froze on this here video here that's the name and the location on it now uh, and there's the time 2 12 9 17 okay and then there's the military time I'm gonna zoom in on this okay because you can see a ring even to start with here okay and I'm also gonna show you what is this is what a1 a AIA 335 looks like okay normally and then you'll see it shooting off up here. And let's go back to our shot that we have. So this is the wild image that comes in here. And you'll see when I push play in a minute. But I'm going to zoom in on this first. And here we are zoomed in on that. So it's a planet and something that flashes. Okay. Either that or for somehow that is a gigantic something flying through space. But it's got rings around it. Pretty interesting looking. I mean you can see it. I got it up to 400. I don't know if I can go any more on that. But there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down to the right, and you'll be able to see the sun. So that you know that I'm showing you the shot from, see, there's the sun here. So, so here we hit play. At least it should play. And you're going to see it end up showing up here. Right about... Right. I'm wondering if it's then it, you see it was really fast level fast there. And I'm wondering if it's Mercury. I also caught this here proton lights or whatever. From somewhere out in space on this video here but you can see the date and time without me babbling about time and date but anyway you're going to see that appear here in this video and there's also one that i had something come in and you can see that big u55 or u50 feet or 50 whatever object that is mass 55 or mass 50 whatever it is so that comes in down here at the end of this Play it, speed it up a little bit, and it's going to come in that light flash that I had froze. It's going to come in like that. It should come in about right now, somewhere. There it was. All right. So, also seen with the star that hit the, the sun. So, I got to go back and check that out and find out. Let's go to Lasco. That's recently today. I'm going to show you what's probably going to havoc some communication somewhere in the world and on the 21st, 22nd, something like that, 23rd. Here's your East Coast moisture. Big old storm on the East Coast. It's your vapors. That's moisture. This is fresh Sechi from the 15th. And as you'll see, the planet here, a planet, a planet, is doing that, uh, what we call a coronal of their atmosphere reaction to a coronal mass ejection from the sun over here to the right. And there's your date and time as you see it flare up there. Now we've seen Jupiter do that. I think Mercury, we've seen just about every planet do it. It's what NASA's mad because the idea that we don't call it a lens flare that is actually a reactive oscillation of energy that emits off of atmospheres of planets when they sense a electrical discharge, basically coronal mass ejection of the sun. And as you see that there, so a planet there getting caught in H1A. So I'm going to try to see about H1A and see where about what it was on the 15th and the 16th. And all NASA's worried about is finding a nova eruption, which it likes if they could show us a better shot, because this is the shot that they give us. And I'll zoom in a little bit more, but you're not going to see anything much more. So the Sechi shots that you can see yourself and blow up is quite interesting. We're proud of them too, but why don't they really show the kids and everybody the real stuff that we see? I guess adult porn space action. So, Stellar Maximus was 2000 and 2001, so what do we got now, ladies and gentlemen? And there's a diagram of what the magneticism of the sun looks like coming up 
to October. All right, it's a gigantic magnet also, okay? The Earth is too, that's when it died out as a star, and that's why we got the magneticism that we've got. All right, so let's go take a look at what I found on HeliViewer. There's A1A ahead. Check the darkness out there to the left. Check that out. In this cutout, basically, this is a Soho shot. This is probably the best thing we got of looking at the supergiants behind the sun in this shot here. Okay? And basically, that's what's creating a lot of this brightness and heat that we get since the sun is giving us different positions and showing us the far side, which is basically has this, the super giants or suns up there that are hundreds of times larger than the sun, way the hell out. And that's the way they can pretty much basically see through the sun and see the far side. Okay, our solar storm off the sun, I'm going to show you what we're going to be getting on the 22nd, 23rd. Here's a quick shot from behind the sun. Stary behind H1. And we're going to get this CME right there. That's Earth, the green spot. Earth is the green. Stereo A and B. So, you're going to get a big whammy on the 22nd. Evening of the 21st. It's going to hype up get on us and I got one other one of this so we will get thromped this is a better one with everything with the Soho and you see your key of what you got there with planets and so forth and so on position wise So when we were looking at that shot, it was more than likely could have been a, a good view of Venus, okay? And then the idea that maybe the rings are really not gone, maybe they're just flopped around and we can't see it, something's up. Because more than likely Venus was the only thing that w when I showed you that one shot of AIA-335, it should have been Venus possibly mercury like I was saying so as you see so I got a feeling we got a good glimpse of mercury it's my best educated guess in that shot okay so that's the CME and that's gonna be the earth's track and uh, it's going to hit Earth, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Bam, there it goes. As you see, it just hit there, and now we'll go up and watch the time, and it should play a little faster. And you can keep an eye on Earth right there. If I can get this over enough, which I can't, so I will move my box. And there we go, there Earth. Duh, thing, and then bam, that CME is going to hit us. So we're going to get some electrical disturbances. And here's Grenada, where there was a big quake. The island of Grenada. So... There's where we had a big quake, and let's look at it. Alaska also had some crazy action. There's a graph from Canada today. Here's some crazy action from China, which is basically connects up to Alaska. It's at this is a fresher one, but if you back up the video and freeze it and zoom in on my shot that I had of that graph, that was an older shot, different time. So Alaska's got some crazy stuff going on up there. And since it came off the back side of the sun, I'm pretty much thinking it's this sea. So it's a little bit smaller than these two here, but this one's going to hit us. This one's going to come at us because it came from the backside. And if you look at those swirls of the magneticism of the sun that I showed you, so you back the video up, you'll get an idea how it whips that stuff at us. And look at all the graphs. I'll go back to the video footage in a minute, but here's a shot from 
set you photo still and that's all you got there and I think it's uh head I got here yeah h1 ahead and then we'll go to the latest this was the latest shot and you can see it flaring way down the bottom so you can see how huge the sun and the supergiants are and it's not just the sun and as you can see up there that's pretty much the sun that we know of right up here and then there's all that explosion down here on the right hand side and I've got it all the way over in the corner as you can see the emblem there and see this here so the supergiants and all those other suns that are out there the supergiants main sequence and there's a sun to the right pretty much right there that would pretty much be our sun right there doing that action there which we can go ahead and watch on and go to that here in a second I'm just going to show you this mass ejection here this is kind of a famous shot here watch this here whip this is going to whip off and like a bunch of jello getting spit off into the whammo Well, here's that shot again. And there's going to be another shot here too, so. And there it is there. Lasco 3. So, pretty awesome stuff on the 31st. And we're going to get hit with a CME. And relax everybody, the sun's okay. And there's a live shot right there. Pretty fresh. And basically, should see Mercury, I think, with the sun here. Hang on. I do believe that's Mercury, and I think that's what we saw before. There's the rings in the video that we started with. So there's a fresh shot of Mercury there. A fresh shot of Mercury. They're going to talk about rebooting the damn deal. And there you go, the fresh shot of Mercury in the sun. So there's your current chart. You're gonna go down. So you can see that planet making its coronal reaction to the flaring of the sun right here to the right. So you see. Such H1. So there's plenty of activity up there. So here's our aurora forecast. So they should be able to get some spectacular shots up in Norway and Sweden and so forth. Over the friction northern lights ladies and gentlemen and then they'll get some really awesome views probably down there too. I need to take a look at Nehemiah. I haven't looked at Nehemiah. So it'll be a pretty cold winter because we are pretty much getting far out now. We were close to the sun at the beginning of the year and we are getting into our winter solstice 93.38 million miles away from the sun. Just a little bit over one IU, because that's where they come up with the one IU is one unit of the distance between the sun and earth. So and that's basically the sun there and earth and how far away we get. And that's pretty much how far we are right now. We're there. And there is the sun. And that's pretty much that to the Nats ass right there. That's how far where we are away from the away from the sun. So it's gonna be a cold winter. I think we already know that cottonwoods turned really early. So a transformer will blow up somewhere because we're going to get some static action down here on Earth. So enjoy it. And I'll try to upload this. Might have some internet problems, but I'll get this loaded up.